Thanks for coming back one more time here on Brooklyn Nets Media Day. A special Yes Network presentation. Ryan Rucco, Sarah Kustak with you. Our thanks to Sean Marks, who kind enough to sit down with us before he addresses uh, the media in just a little while and answer all of the, the tough questions after an interesting offseason, to say the least. But, Sarah, I think, you know, if we're summing up the day, and you know, we heard from Kevin Durant, we heard from Kyrie Irving, we heard from Ben Simmons sitting down with us, Ben, Sean, Patty, Seth, Joe, Royce. The bottom line is if you look at this group, first of all, they did what they had to do today, which was answer all of these things. If there was some sort of dismissal of addressing what went on this offseason, this was going to linger and be sort of a cloud, I think, hanging over this group. Instead, they sort of wore it, to, to use a, a sports phrase, right? Of Yeah, I did request a trade. Here's why, with Kevin Durant talking about the things that got him to that point, mentioning you know, the group not being quite the same he committed to when he signed his four-year extension, talking about some of the habits not being up to what he wanted and feeling like they were swept under the rug. Kyrie Irving talking about how it was awkward when Kevin Durant asked for a trade and kind of stayed out of it and you know having some faith that it'd be okay in the end, but also having to have honest conversations himself with management and getting to a place of understanding there as well. And Ben talking about what he went through, getting to a place where he wanted to be on the floor mentally and now can be physically and hearing Sean just talk about going through that as well. And I think the synopsis would be you have a lot of really competitive people who have a collective chip on their shoulder because of the way the season ended, getting embarrassed by the Celtics in the first round. And then a lot of individuals who have chips on their shoulders for different reasons as well, whether it's because their names have been dragged, because of the way they've been spoken about, or because they're coming back trying to prove that they're healthy. And I think the organization has some of that as well, too, Sean indicating that. So the other part of it is, though, Sarah, they know the talk is cheap, and they can only prove it on the floor. But that would sort of be the way today feels like the collective spirit is leading towards, hey, it's time to go prove it on the floor now that we've addressed what we need to. And that's, to me, what I was most interested to see, what is – going to be said first and foremost but also what's the feel what what is what's this vibe and energy like of is there tension is it uncomfortable because we know you can have all the talent in the world part of it is availability but part of it is how a team just meshes gels and fits together and the chemistry they can build and that's a long process to go through and obviously we're talking here at preseason media day and you're thinking about what it becomes in the postseason but the fact that everyone was able to address uncomfortable topics that the uncertainty of what it was like in both from the players themselves, from those that are teammates, the organization from top to bottom. I think that's a really positive sign for the hope of that growth and the hope of, okay, at the end of the day, what are we? We're a basketball team. Right, right. And so we're going to play <laughs> basketball. Right. And how good right. can we be as basketball players with one another? And, and so, you know, I think for all of those reasons, it's going to be really fun to watch how they continue to grow together during training camp. Well, they're going to play basketball Monday, a week from today on Yes, and we're going to call basketball? Let's do it. All right, we're going to call basketball with our new teammate, Megan Triplett, as well. Yes. She will be there as yeah. well. We're so excited for all of you to get to know Megan. She is outstanding, and we also want to say congratulations to Michael Grady, our teammate, leaving she, us on his best. new gig with the Timberwolves. He will do a wonderful job there. Sarah, I think that's a wrap on Media Day. Is it? It's a wrap on Media Day. Special thanks to our fearless leader, Frank. Frank DeGrace on site, Eric Roldan producing back in the studio, even a big boss, Jared Boschneck here to guide the ship. Thank you to all of you for watching Preseason Basketball October 3rd on ES.